Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back. Well, today we are going to do another uh, subscriber request. And this request was, can you model a, a dripping candle? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. All right. So we're going to start by creating a, uh, we're going to go to our polygon menu and we're going to create a, um, a polygon cylinder. And we're going to pull that out and pull that up. Hit R to scale it up a little bit, not too much. Hit W, move that up, and just snap it. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to tweak this a little bit. We're going to add some subdivision. So in height, we'll do, uh, hang on, what's going on there? I'll just uh, create a clean object. Okay, so uh, let's see, height we'll do 10 for now, and the caps we'll do 3. All right, <clears throat> cool. So next what we're going to do is we're going to right-click, go to face, and we're going to select, let's see, these faces right here. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude. Hit W and we're going to pull that up. And then we're going to take that section, hit G, W to pull that up. And we'll take this G to repeat and W to pull up. I like so. All right. Then we're going to take these four and we're going to bring that down to here Oop, that's a bit too much that's about right and we're going to hit G and W to pull out just a little all right and actually what we'll do is we'll take this row here, hit G, W to pull out. Sorry, just want these four. That looks all right. And then we're going to add an edge loop. So mesh tools, injured edge loop tool, option box, regular setting, and we'll do one there. Q on our keyboard, and we're going to right click face, and we're going to take these. Let's see, yep. Added mesh, extrude, hit W, and we're going to pull that out. All right, and then we're going to take these two, and we're going to hit R, and we're going to scale that out to about there. And we'll probably need to tweak this a bit, but that's okay. Uh, we'll do one more edge loop, so mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. We'll do one there, Q on our keyboard. Right click face, select these, edit mesh, extrude, hit W and pull that out. All right. And then we're going to right click go to object mode, select that guy and hit three on our keyboard. Okay. Now that's not too bad. This is a bit of an issue here, so we'll need to fix that. And we'll need to tweak a little bit up here because these lines are a little bit too sharp. All right, so we're gonna right click at an edge. We're gonna take that edge and we're gonna push that back in. Okay, and we're gonna tweak it a little bit up here. Right click vertex. Just kind of drag that up a little bit. Take, that's a bit too much. Take these, put 
push that down a little. All right, and then we're gonna take these. It's a bit much. Uh, let's see. Take that, push that in a little bit. All right, we're gonna shift right click and we're gonna go to smooth, which already makes it look a little bit better. And let's move into the bottom here and we're gonna go to our deformation tab, select this guy and we're gonna hold down our B key and left select and drag bring that down we're going to select that area down here and we're going to kind of tweak that Okay, let's take this right here. Okay, we're gonna increase our selection. So hold down the B and left click and drag out. And we're just gonna tweak our candle a little bit. So push that in. It's not completely straight and that's exactly what we want. Select up here, here we're gonna kind of push the whole thing in. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. It's like this. And maybe down here, we'll just pull that out just a little. Okay. Now let's get in here. So we're gonna hold down our B key. So select an area, hold down B, pull that in quite a bit. And we're gonna select near the edge there. Maybe make the selection a bit bigger. And we're kind of gonna raise the wax next to the walls here. Just so it doesn't look too yeah, that's a bit better. We'll take one here and push that down. Yeah, much better. Okay, so now that we got that, we are going to drag select, right click object mode, hit B to turn that off, Q on our keyboard, object mode. Come on. Come on. Why is he not selecting my object? There we go. All right. So we got that. And edit, delete by type, history, modify, freeze transformations. That's good. Now we're going to go to polygons, take a polygon cylinder, and pull that up. And let's bring that in. And bring that up here and move that in. I have to zoom in. Now it's quite large, so we're going to bring that down until it is in proportion somewhat. It's roughly in the middle. Okay. We're going to go to our mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, and let's Add some of those, hit Q on our keyboard. And what we're gonna do is right click, go to face, select the top section, and we're gonna hold down B. And we're gonna start to no, our range is too big, sorry. Control Z, hold down B and drag select that range back in. And 
doesn't want to play ball. Okay, we'll do it without the B, it's fine. Okay, so I'll start up here. And you don't want it to be too symmetrical. You want it to be a bit organic looking, if you will. But specifically make sure that the top is a bit thinner. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate that a little bit. And bring that out. Let's see what that looks like. Right click object mode, hit three on our keyboard. Yeah, it's not too bad. With the exception of the bottom here, as you can see, it should be inserted into our material. So we're gonna go to um, mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. Let's add an edge loop down here to hold that shape. Hit Q on our keyboard, right click object mode. Hit W and bring that down into our material. And then we're going to go back to our deformation tool. It's like that guy. We're going to go to this object right here. We're going to hold down B and left click and drag to kind of make that area nice and small. And then we're going to click close to this area right here. Let's see if that works for us. I think we need to make the range a bit smaller even. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. So we're going to hit Q on our keyboard, right click object mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit one on our keyboard. Edit mesh, insert edge loop tool, uh, sorry, yeah. Edge loop tool. Okay, Q on our keyboard, right click vertex. And we're just gonna move a couple of these vertices up a little, and that should have an effect. Right click object mode, hit three on our keyboard. Select our object, edit, delete by type, history, modify, freeze transformations. There we go. And there we go, here's our candle. So uh, quick and dirty, but if you spend a bit more time on that, you can make it look uh, pretty realistic. Um, as far as texturing is concerned, uh, I would advise uh, on using a ramp shader, uh, which looks nice. And if you use a material where you can adjust the uh, transparency, that would uh, look pretty awesome. But uh, let me know what you come up with. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.